Hello everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. Recently, for the past few weeks, I've been getting this question very frequently and I thought I need to address this question uh, because there are so many people who can benefit from this uh, and the question I'm getting is we are learning Power BI, uh, we are doing everything to learn Power BI, we are applying for jobs but we are not getting any Power BI calls. Is it even worth to learn Power BI is what so many of the subscribers are asking me. Uh, I'll, I'll try to make it short and simple. So try to search anything on Google. Google recognizes everything based on the term you try to search, right? Uh, let's say when you uh, when you search business intelligence, it gives 10,000 results. Let's let's just assume that when you search for BI, it gives, let's say, 8,000 results. So there is a gap of that 2,000 there because of the uh, search you used, because of the search term you used. So when a recruiter tries to call you, they try, uh, usually 90% of the time, the recruiters, they will not have any clue of the requirement of of what they are trying to recruit for okay so they just blindly follow whatever is there in the requirement so in some requirements they'll say uh, we want a power bi developer some requirements they'll say uh, we want a business intelligence developer who has power bi experience and in some uh, in some requirements they'll say uh, Power BI developer. Some requirements they say SQL Server developer. We need a SQL Server developer with uh, who knows Power BI. So there are uh, there can be a multiple ways a client can uh, post a client can post the requirement because a recruiter he doesn't know he doesn't have much knowledge on the requirements on the skill sets. He'll just follow the keywords that are there in the requirement. So the first step, what I say is, please try to include different terms, uh, different terms for, for each technology you have put in. Let's say you are trying as a Power BI developer. So, so you divide your require, so you divide your resume into few, three, few blocks, right? So in the main block, uh, Let's say in the main paragraph, you have it as uh, uh, if you say, I have a knowledge on Power, Power BI or I or I have an experience, I have some experience in Power BI. Let's say you have that in the first paragraph. In the next paragraph, you, where you describe your responsibilities, where you actually describe what all you have performed with Power BI, maybe you can add something there. Um, in that section maybe you can elaborate it you can say that um, working xp i have working experience on power bi desktop or i have i have um, business i have business intelligence experience and the tools i have used is power bi ssis ssrs um, or operate and you can also elaborate it you can say uh, instead of SSIS, you can say SQL Server Integration Services and in the braces, you can put it as SSIS. So when the recruiter searches for SSIS, your resume gets picked up anyway because you have SSIS as well as uh, SQL Server Integration Services both defined in your resume because, because for SSIS, you use either this or that. We, we just have two terms there. The same goes for SQL Server as well. If you're trying to put SQL Server in your resume, if you have SQL Server experience, uh, you can put it as, I have experience with SQL Server in one place and in the other place you can elaborate it. Uh, I have used, uh, used SSMS tool and I have used SQL Server management tool and in the braces you can put it as SSMS. And, uh, I think you got what my point is. So basically think of all the different ways where a recruiter can post a requirement and try to put all and try to include those terms in your resume so that when a recruiter searches for it, that your resume can your resume can actually be picked up. So that's one tip. <coughs> and the other tip is 
and this is the most important tip i i should say there are only few companies who look for just power de power bi developers okay when you are trying to get into power bi job i told i i actually i told this in other videos as well you need to have sql server ssis ssrs experience as well i mean you don't have to be an expert in all those three but at least you should have a basic knowledge and the recent um, i've been searching for some um, recent postings also online what i'm saying is recently uh, the clients are also looking for python developers i know that people who are trying to uh, go into power bi developing side they don't want to code because you are scared of coding you want to actually go into uh, go into this side you want to go into power bi uh, field okay because there's less coding compared to um, python or sql server whatever with my experience i have i have more than 12 years of experience in it with my experience what i can say is if someone recruits you as a power bi developer though the requirement has python sql server java dotnet whatever but if you are hired as power bi developer 99% of the time you will be working on power bi only there are only very 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 less cases where someone asks you to code a dotnet code something in dotnet or python or java or whatever there are very less chances why they uh, but why they actually included in their requirement uh, is because their company might be doing all those stuff and sometimes when 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 there is a need they expect you to do some work here and there um, using those technologies but it's not necessary it's not mandatory that you'll be working on those um, on those technologies so don't be scared so the point here is you need to have basic knowledge just basic knowledge just to clear your interviews okay just to clear your interviews you don't have to be an expert please learn python basics of python just learn just learn interview questions of python some basics of it sql server ssis ssrs please do this and please include these in your resume and you'll have very high chances when you include these technologies in your resume you'll have very high chances uh, for your resume to, to be picked up okay so, as just so just a recap to get uh, a, so to get a power bi call you need to learn the basics of different technologies like python sql server um ssis ssrs so please learn basics basics of these four um it's not because someone asks you to work on these when you get a job it's because you you want to clear the interview it's just because of that and the second one is you need to you need to try and incorporate all the all the terms that a recruiter might search while while searching for a power bi job so so this is it i hope this is useful If you like this video please hit the like button I haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe see you in the next video thank you